Hello and welcome to a plan 3 d with Experts video series. My name is Bernd Gerstenberger. I am Knowledge Domain Expert for AutoCAD and Specialized Toolset and Escalation Lead for AutoCAD plan 3 d Today's topic are the new features of AutoCAD plan 3 d 2024. We have several new features to present. The new features will be presented in separate videos. In this video, I want to present several specs and catalogs enhancements. So we have two topics here, the specs and catalog editor enhancements and also some spec viewer enhancements. Moving over to the next big topic, specs and catalogs improvements. Uh, there's a completely redesign of the edit parts dialog. I'm starting the one with um, for a spec. Spell later, I'm moving over to a catalog. So if we have here uh, in the spec uh, edit property um, editor a new uh, selection list called display, um, you see here all properties is selected currently. So you will see everything currently. So these four uh, first four filters are different views showing all the, div of the same table but in different filters stati. Uh, so this is all properties. When I select only part family properties, only uh, the uh, general properties, size independent properties are listed here and only one row will be shown. If I'm selecting only part size properties uh, for each size of a common and a separate uh, row will be shown. And uh, I have the last possibility is to select only custom properties showing you the additional added properties. Note that um, the former checkbox uh, option hide parts marked remove from spec has been moved now to the selection list display. So we can check or uncheck it here. Custom properties. Formerly it was only possible to add custom family properties, but it wasn't possible to add custom size properties. This is now changed. You are now able to do that. Um, this will be done by a new field in the custom property dialog called applies to. It's a selection list showing you two possibilities. One, uh, one is part size and the other is part family. The part size properties will be added to the size tab of your catalog editor and the part family property will be added to the channel properties tab of your catalog editor. And for part size, you have to enter for each size a separate value. And if I'm changing for one specific size a value of a part family property, then this change will be effect, will update uh, all sizes. So that we will get all the um, same value at once. Now we are talking about edit properties for the catalog. In general, it's the same as for the spec, but there's one additional thing here, which you have to know, but one thing was renamed. Formerly it was called catalogs modify catalog properties. Now you're selecting catalogs property editor. You are now able to modify multiple properties in one step. So for example, for part um, for one common end, you can select several sizes together and then you can modify the properties, specific properties in one step, size dependent properties. It's also possible to uh, select several um, components at once of the same family. This is important to modify general properties in one step. If you're selecting um, several components of different families, uh, then the field seal here will be created out and it's not possible to modify the values here directly. Uh, an additional note, because we have now a property editor, the advanced editing table in catalog editor tab sizes is removed. So this list here below, this is from 2023, you won't see this list anymore. Why? Not needed anymore. We have now a property editor. And spec updates settings. You you could see that in spec editor, but also in project setup. There's one small change, but an important one inside of project setup. This checkbox here at the bottom right, update all user added properties. 
is now available in Project Setup 2. It was only formerly only available in the spec editor, now it's available in Project Setup as well. And here's now a short video showing you enhancement. So here uh, I'm clicking, I'm opening the property editor and I'm creating two new properties. The first one called CP size, custom property size. I will select part sizes for applies to. And the second one is CP family. And I'm uh, selecting here part families for the field applies to. Now, um, um, all properties, I see it already both here. And I'm switching now to a filter custom properties. And you see here the values. For CP size, I can uh, change or modify the values size by size separately. But when I'm doing that for CP family, it will be changed for all sizes in one step. Switching to only part family sizes. Now I'm uh, uh, changing the value from CP family from 3000, 3001 to 3002. And going back to our uh, custom breaks, you see the change here, 3002. And now changing size by size, the value for CP size. Yeah. You have to do that row by row. Now, <clears throat> You can also open a manage property uh, dialog by context menu. This is now also possible. And uh, in catalog editor, it's the same behavior. For the uh, parts no, with note that with size property, CP size is listed on the size tab and with CP family uh, property and with, uh, uh, um, on the um, general properties part. We can select several components of the same part family in this kind of nipple. So I can change general properties um, in one step for all of them together. Uh, if I'm selecting different part families, like now, when it's grayed out, I mean, cannot change the values here. Now I'm switching, selecting only one component, but selecting several sizes in one step, and I can change now one step the value for, for that property. Okay, this was that. Go, moving over to the spec view enhancement. We have four new features. The first one is just to possible, uh, you are possible to expand or um, collapse the spec information here. And uh, the second one is the search field, very important. And you're now able to filter by sizes. And the fourth one is any change in a spec viewer regarding spec and size for those both selection list will be uh, reflected immediately in the pa part insertion panel in the ribbon. And the other way, way around. So this is a short video about the spec feature enhancement. Now I'm selecting size 10 and only those components will be listed which have um, included a, a size 10. And if selecting one, only the size 10 will be shown at the bottom. And you see that in the ribbon is also 10 listed. Now I'm switching to 14. You see the change, it is changing immediately to 14 and the other way around as well. And the same if I'm doing that for the spec. Now I'm um, filtering for 60.9 and you see that only those components will be listed, which have included uh, the keywords, my search keywords, and now I can look for them. So this was about the improvements for specs and catalogs in 2024. I hope it is useful for you. And this is what I wanted to present in this part of a series about new features in 2024 today. I'm looking for your comments to this video. Thank you for your time today and goodbye.